Hello everyone and welcome to Whitetail Driven Solutions YouTube channel. We are bringing you tips, strategies, and tactics to help you and your property be more successful. We not only invite you to subscribe to our channel, but also hit the notification button to be notified when we release new videos. Hey guys, short video this morning. Just uh, wanted to chat with you about uh, a topic that I see more and more of and um, not one of the lengthy videos that we're, that you see. We're not going to um, put this one on um, YouTube and, and uh, make this, um, you know, draw a bunch of volume to it. Everybody that's on my, uh, my uh, Facebook channel right now, a couple people have been asking about this, something that we've been talking about. So just a quick video. I think uh, going into this habitat, season if you will uh, a lot of guys are out looking they're shopping for someone to help uh, on their projects or habitat projects that they have that they've been planning you know maybe it was a last year project that didn't get done or it's new something new this year you're enhancing some bedding areas um, looking at um, removing some timber off your pro properties and you want to make sure you're um, you're working with the right guy that has your right you know your best intentions in mind um, Topic today is just that. The I was on a um, talking to a gentleman um, last week. I've been on the parcel myself. I've actually hunted the parcel myself, and he's he's now uh, going into this year into the 2020 season. He's um, wanting to do some some uh, improvements to it. So what where that leaves us is is the contact that he had had before he had reached out to me is a um, forester. So we had got on the topic of, is he a um, logger or is he a forester? Well, in my opinion, uh, you have a logger, you have a forester, and then you have actually a habitat manager or a whitetail manager on a property um, habitat management such as myself. The, the three things um, don't, aren't the same, and they do not. Uh, they can work together, but 95% of the time, they don't. And the reason is, is, is a perfect, uh, I'm going to use this property um, as an example. The perfect uh, example is this gentleman has what I believe um, is probably the best uh, property in, in the county that he's in. And I'm not going to narrow it down and, and uh, you know, name any names. But he's, he, is, uh, he has the potential to have the best property in the county that I've set foot on myself. There might be something hidden out there that's but for, per acre. Um, he's got uh, quite quite the uh, parcel. So but what that is, it hasn't been cut in years, and the way the property lays out, it's very, very huntable with hardly uh, any improvements needed to it. But where that brings us into is he's reached out to a, a, a gentleman that is a, uh, in my eyes, is a logger. And he uh, wants to not only do logging for him, he wants to be able to come out and do um, habitat improvements for him. Well, um, what they're looking for me, f from me on, is a design. So, you know, they're looking to me to have me come in and design it, which is great. I appreciate the business. And then they're going to log it. Well, they're going to do the improvements themselves. So I, I started the conversation by asking the gentleman, is he a, a logger or a forester? Well, a forester to me is someone that has a design of the future in mind, not just the log, not just the, the logging. A lot of loggers work with foresters so there was a little uh um, topic there about you know deciphering from the two um a lot of guys out there that are claiming that they can do all three and the fact of the matter is in my opinion my professional opinion on what i do i'm not going to go down the road of what they do or what they offer but the the fact of the matter is what i do in this industry and in this business cannot be I, I'm not going to go into a, a, a parcel and tell you that I'm a logger. And I'm not going to go into a onto a piece of property and tell you that I'm a forester, because I'm not, and it doesn't represent me, and it doesn't do anything for the for the client. All it's going to do is set the client up for, um, you know, a goals that he's trying to reach that he's not going to be able to reach because I can't give him um, what a forester or a logger could give him. So up front, going forward into these projects, I always chat with these guys about property owners clubs, whoever's involved, and I always ask them, is it a, is it a dollar um, thing that you're going for, or is it a, a wildlife habitat huntable whitetail property? And some of these, this is a perfect example on this one. So this property hasn't been cut in a while, for years. 
and it has some marketable timber. So what I recommended them to do is for, for me to design it and then to have the logger go in and logger um, cut out the areas or select cut it down to like 12 or 14 inches. And the reason that is, guys, is that way when we go back in and we do our, my, I do my portion of it after the design and we implement our uh, bedding areas and we do these travel corridors and you hang these licking branches and you put the water um, sources in, all this stuff ties together. Your blinds are moved, your, your bow stand, stands are there, you're trimmed out. It doesn't get destroyed by going in in two or three more years with a forester that has designed a program for you to be able to cut that timber, valuable timber out of that in, four, in, uh, in segments, let's say every five years or every 10 years. That's to me, um, if you're going to go in and change this stuff on a white wildlife or a, or a um, whitetail side of it, you are, um, you are setting yourself up to destroy and waste money that you've paid me to do and uh, that's not what I want to see. I want to see these properties when we leave be able to be hunted and be, continue to be hunted and, you know, for a 10 or 15 year period. And then if there's trees in there that have came along because that, you know, sunlight's got to the forest floor and that the oaks have taken off or that uh, hard maple, now you have value in some trees to be able to go in and get those trees out. But it's a better situation on a huntable property side of things to go in first, get that value of that timber out of there down let's say like this property go in and cut that property down to that 14 inch stage get the value out of it up front then go in and create what we we can create for you and make that property huntable for 10 to 15 years and then go in and get select selectively get that money back um and what's there because of like i said because of the the sunlight's there but in the meantime you're hunting it so instead of going in every five years and destroying what you paid me to do the uh, that's not the that's not the avenue that you want to take. I I, I am a little bit different because um, what the perfect way to explain it about the logger and the forester, the forester may be um, on a let's say a design platform or a management platform of, of marketable timber, and you're going to pay him a one-time fee to come out. He's going to tell you a plan, and you're going to run with that plan. Now a logger is going to tell you that he can cut your you he can cut your um, timber off your property, a timber uh, stand purchaser, let's say, and they're going to cut it, and then it's going to help your wildlife because they're going to cut it. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth. That will help the situation if it needs it. But there's a lot of these situations out there that I run into, a lot of these farms that don't need the select cutting in the, or the cut in the area where the, where the folks want to go into. And the reason that is, is they are getting paid to give you that information they are they want you to come in or you to pay them to come in and they're not getting paid unless there's marketable timber in there so they're going to take everything that has any value to it and they're going to be gone and what they leave you with is a mess so going into it in the conclusion of this video the topic is maybe i will put this on youtube because i think it's i've had a couple questions on the, on the youtube channel as well so what that means is you go into it knowing that is it a marketable timber, a, a money um, situation for you over X amount of years, or do you want to hunt it and get your uh, return on your investment from your success of your deer hunt? Two huge, huge different things. The object is is to blend all three of these pieces, a forester, a logger, and a, a habitat management side of things as a whitetail hunt, huntability uh, built property builder as myself, design and the construction part of it, you want to tie all those all three of those things together. By taking the advice from a logger that's going to clear cut or heavy select cut your farm and then you're just going to let it all grow and you're going to be able to hunt it and it's going to be successful is not going to get you to where you want to be for what I offer. For me telling you that there's no excuse me, there's no value um, in your timber and we should um, select cut certain areas or we should make it all to a bedding area isn't going to get you the biggest value of your dollar out. So what I always do is, like I said, I, I start with the, with the, the uh, foresters, look, look at what they have to say. If there's marketable timber on the property, then we get with a, a logger that I've got a couple guys that I work with myself. We get with a logger. 
they cut that to our specifications knowing that you're going to deer hunt this and you want to get your return not only your return on money on logs your return on your investment on your hunting for you your family for generations to come that's that's the goal and without them pieces connected i see a lot of these guys just hiring loggers and yep they're going to do exactly what you offer and we're going to select cut it and we're going to hunt it and and uh, it's gonna it's creating bedding areas because the tops and everything else. Well, guys, that doesn't work. That's not the fact. You're you're missing a whole part of the equation by not hiring somebody to come in and finish the project to make it a whitetail property like we do. You're not going to gain that by just hiring a logger. So the topic of this video is, and I guess I'll name it, stay in your lane. So um, if you don't have the resources to do what each one of these um, property specialist, I'll call, I'll label us, has to offer. Don't try to do it yourself because you're going to destroy the potential of your property. If it's huntable now and you hire the, the wrong logger or you don't do a design and you, you hire the wrong um, habitat manager to come in and design to make these uh, whitetail properties the best they can be, if you hire the wrong person, you may destroy your property for 10 to 15, 20 years. It's pretty simple. So, um, look at that as a as a um, goal on your properties. Have that set in mind. That's where we come in as a consultant side of it. Give me a call. We'll lay this all out on the table. We'll make an educated decision. Don't make a decision on a on someone that is has their has they their best value in your your uh, log value on your property. So do not take just a logger's opinion. And yep, you need to clear cut or select cut the whole farm and it's going to be great hunting because it's all going to be thick. There's value in that, but it's not a complete value because their value in, in that, um, that recommendation is in their pocketbook. That's, that's money that they're not going to get, they're not going to make on your property unless you agree to uh, select cut or cut it that hard and have them come back, you know, in the future to do that. And that's, like I said, everybody has their profession. And the guys that I work with that are loggers are great. We have a great, um, we have a great uh, connection with each other because I respect what they do. I respect the foresters, whether it's a forester from the state or, an, or a private individual. But there are, there are I, I'm going to venture to say that there's nobody out there that can offer you all three things. And especially this gentleman that we're, we're working on with this property, um, that we started the conversation about the video about here is a perfect example. He does not uh, feel he, that he has to hire three people. All one person is going to do it. The problem is if you go to the top of that pyramid, the guy that is going to make the money is the one that's going to cut your logs and have the money in his pocket. And if you don't, what happens is you may not get the other two steps in that pyramid or because he'll just, they, they, I mean, it's a, it's a fact. Not all loggers are like this, and don't, uh, don't take this the wrong way, but there's a lot of them out there that'll cut your property, cut it uh, in the summer months, let's say, instead of um, in the winter. They cut it, um, they cut the wrong trees, um, and it's all about value. That's what they're in business for, is to make money. That's what I'm in business for, to make money. But where I differ from things is I want to see your properties be able to be huntable I'm not looking to take your value of your logs out of your property and never see you again. So there's a, uh, like I said, there's a pyramid effect there that has to happen. If you can find somebody that's reputable that do, can do all those as far as not like myself, as far as just, you know, uh, hiring a logger. But if there's a guy that does the logging, does the forest forestry part of it, the forestry part of it, and does the habitat, and you can prove to me that there's three people, there's one person that does all three things, that's great, but I'm here to tell you there's nobody out there that does it. So each everybody has their own um, has their own spot in this in this program has this own their own spot in this management system that that can get you to where you need to be. But don't get fooled into thinking that um, you're just going to hire one guy to do it all, and it's going to be the same as what your neighbor, uh, you, you know, the the uh, great deer that your neighbors are killing next to you, uh, because chances are they've followed this procedure and had. Everybody stay in their lane, and they got to the finish line the correct way instead of just uh, taking a influential um, money money marketer uh, to do the whole uh, cut of the property, and they never see them again. I don't want to see anybody get burnt. I don't want to see anybody lose their investment or their their money um, and, and place their money in the wrong spots. 
feel very strongly about what I have to offer on these par uh, parcels. And um, we have, you know, the proof is, is in these properties that are performing for us that I've been working on. Um, maybe just a property that we, you know, that we put together last year, or maybe it's a property that we uh, have been working on with uh, clients for 10 years. So uh, take that to heart, kind of let that, let that sink in a little bit. Everybody uh, in the industry stays in their lane and we all get you, we get you where you need to be. If somebody tries to overpower it and say that they can create all of it and do all of it, just hire a one-stop shop. It's, it's not, that's not the direction that you, that you want to go. So thanks for tuning in guys. I appreciate everybody reaching out and uh, Michigan was blasted with a good winter storm last night. So hopefully everybody stays safe. Thanks guys.